Well, let's talk road safety now, Phil. Thanks very, very much for that update. The Department of Transport will intensify their festive season road safety campaign leading up to this coming Saturday. Uh, the weekend, as well as Christmas and New Year's days, are, are really the busiest and are the most challenging for traffic law enforcement officers. Last year, close to 2,000 people lost their lives on the roads over the festive season. To tell us more, we're joined in studio by the Deputy Minister of Transport, Cindy Siwe Chikunga. Good to have you, Deputy Minister, thanks very much for being our guest. Thank you very much for having us, Lian. You know, we look at numbers like 2,000, and it's, it's just unacceptable. And the, the reality is, is that people that are watching us now may not be watching us in the new year simply because they're going to be uh, killed or die in a road traffic accident. And how are we, what are we doing this year to try and bring that toll down? We, we are approaching the festive season, particularly the Christmas weekend, having won a case in court over the custody of, of, of Arrival Life brand. Because for all the time, we're not sure as to whether it's our brand or it's somebody else's brand. So we have it now as the Department of Transport, the custody of that, whether it's copyright or intellectual property right, it's ours now, yeah. it's our brand. Okay. So that is good news for the Department of Transport and I think for the people of South Africa. But equally, we have done our own analysis to check as to which days, which routes will be busy. And we are aware that we having tomorrow very busy on our roads yeah. because many of the industries will be closing and therefore we'll be having many of our major routes being very busy. Mm. Uh, we're looking at our national roads such as your N1 from Cape Town to F okay. K and Northern Cape, Free State, Gauteng up until uh, Limpopo Bay Bridge, those will be very busy. That road will be very busy. Of course, the N2, again, from Cape Town down to Eastern Cape to KZN. The KZN and, 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 and has actually become one of the killer roads in South Africa yeah. for the, whatever the reason. Roads Yet it well. is a very good road in yeah. terms of quality. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at N3 from Gauteng to Deben, N4 to Mpumalanga, and so on. And, and, and one feature that is common in South Africa is that many of the traffic will move away from the big cities to different provinces, particularly rural provinces. But this time around, as you are aware, tomorrow we'll also be having buses traveling from provinces to Gauteng for the ANC conference. Yeah. This is a unique feature. We are ready for that. And we have spoken to the leadership of the ANC to speak to their leadership in provinces that we do not have buses following one another such that they don't give space to smaller vehicles to overtake yeah. because that creates a lot of traffic and therefore increases the likelihood of accidents. So we have got our traffic officers ready to go to national routes tomorrow and of course on the weekend of Christmas, the weekend of, of, of New Year. So but there will be very, very high visibilities. And, and to add to this, which I, I think viewers need to know about, is that um, there's an introduction of minimum sentences for negligent and reckless driving and plans to reclassify drunken driving from a Schedule 3 to a much more severe Schedule 5 offence. What does this all mean? We, we actually are saying for, for now, as we speak, any of the traffic-related uh, uh, crimes are regarded as minor ones. And, and yet they lead to death Indeed. of people. It, you don't have a situation where in 37 days you lose so many lives. And it cannot be that we keep on thinking that those are minor crimes. We, we think that they've got to be serious crimes. But Leanne, one other thing that we have heard even over the weather forecast now is that we are going to have some provinces I mean, rain in some provinces, yeah. but others will be dry with the potential of felt fires, your, your Western Cape, your Northern Cape, and so on, with the potential of, 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 of felt fires. So if we're going to have wet roads, slippery roads, that might increase the likelihood of accidents. But also we've heard that we've seen just now that many of the accidents that we have seen happen during the night. And that is why when we speak to our people, we think, please, as you plan to travel, please plan to travel during the day. And, 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 and plan your trip such that you do not say, I'm traveling from Johannesburg to Deben 
and you'd see yourself in Deppen. There is a distance that you must drive from Johannesburg to Deppen and therefore plan what is going to happen there, including the car that you'll be driving, that it is roadworthy, that you're going to fasten your seat belts, that you're going to light your headlamps because that is important, that you are not drunk, that you have rested enough and ready therefore to drive the distance Indeed. and you know where you're going to rest until you reach your destination and that you'll be very patient with other drivers because short the, the, the routes, main major routes will be very busy. Yeah. But over the Christmas, it's a long Christmas again. It's Tuesday and Wednesday. But I mean, I mean Tuesday and Monday. But following a weekend, so you have a very long weekend, very long weekend and the yeah. abuse of alcohol, and therefore the, the 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 accidents shift from major routes to residential areas, built up areas, okay. and we are going to deploy our traffic officers there so that. Then again, we ensure that the, the people behave even in their residential areas. Right. But we also talk to people, parents, Leanne, that they need to know that at that time, if normally I'm making an example, you'd have 100 cars in the area. During that time, you are likely to have up to about a thousand cars because everybody is at home, every car is there, visitors are there. And therefore, even children that used to play on the roads, you need to be cautious as patients because that is where you have many pedestrians being knocked down by cars. And that is a very big problem as well. I know uh, talking about drinking and walking, never mind just drinking and driving, yes. just be very, very vigilant. Deputy Minister, we have to leave it there. I know we will have you back in studio again to talk more about the roads and being safe on these roads arrive alive now falling under the department of transport and using that uh, to hopefully benefit us drivers on the road out there our deputy minister of transport cindy siwe chikunga talking to us here on morning live very quick break aubrey up next as well as zizi kodwa he'll be joining peter ndoro who's out at nasrac where the 54th conference the elective conference of the anc takes place this weekend